hi there folks, uh, it's uh, what it is, 11 at night, 11 at night. Yeah. Uh, we just finished Psych because we had a lot of breaks, uh, we had lunch between and so we played it for a long long time, just because it was our first game, five player learning game, uh, yeah, but I think even with all that break, and, it was a lot of fun, so um, Psych gets a lot of hype uh, everywhere, uh, you get even uh, Scythe with the cats in a box and, and you know, it's just so popular and I I really dig it. I, I, I can get why, why, why they have the, uh, why it has the, all the hype. Because basically it's an engine building game in its purest and most wonderful way. You, it's a, like a sandbox engine building game where Still, if you have restrictions, you can customize your empire, your player mat. Quite, you can customize how you will play your player mat quite a lot, and it gives a lot of benefits um, for for the future games. And this is this is a learning game where you can, where you have to learn different factions, where you have to learn different player mats. Uh, there's so much to tell, and we just maybe we're gonna do a review somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> There we, it's 11.30, <laughs> but yeah, uh, I just love all the artists, of course the components are whatever, it, it's great. Um, the game itself, the engine building, I love that type of engine building in its purest form, it's just great. Clive? I, I really thoroughly enjoyed it, I mean it, it actually only took us probably two and a half hours I yeah, guess in total. Yeah, together, like if we count out all of the... It's like three breaks. hours I think, to be, I don't know. We counted, well, okay. not that well, much. We, anyway, we about two and a half hours and, uh, <laughs> uh, and it was a lot of fun, uh, engine building aspects. I think the theme, it, the theme comes through the artwork and in the components, mm -hmm. yeah. not so much in the gameplay, oh, it is yeah. an engine builder, really a bit of area control. It's not very aggressive, that there's some fighting, but it's very aggressive. We had some five percentage of fighting. We had a little bit more fighting in the end, but basically yeah. the whole game was like static. Yeah. I think maybe there's a comparison with Terra Mystica, and I think that's not unfair. I love Terra Mystica, uh, and I like this a lot. They inhabit the same space, I think. I... I'm a bit out of words, Ilya did all the battling, but I really enjoyed the game, um, it was something I was really expecting from the game, it's, it's a big board game, it's an awesome, rather complex game, like the complexity level is perfect, I don't like way too many complex like 4x games, but it gives the feeling of the major game, the, like, like a proper gameplay, proper like epic game, let's say. But on the other hand, it was rather easy. Um, it was actually good. I noticed that during the play, we almost rarely ever had to check something in the rules. Rarely ever, yes, rarely ever had to like double check or or make sure or check the forum or FAQ or anything like that. Which is really good uh, sign. It means that it like it's done well. Yeah, the rule is done well. But what, what I like here is uh, it has complex, sort of a, when you look at it first, it, it has a complex look, it has a complex rules and whatever you actually can do and you need to grasp that. But on the other hand, and it's like it gives you a lot of choices, somewhat. On the other hand, it restricts you in the right way, it gives you hints where to go, mm -hmm. depending on, on what player maps you have. And we don't like, mean those quick start suggestions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we, we didn't do... Those. On my fourth turn, I, I didn't look at my objective cards anymore because I looked at them on the first turn. But yeah, um, I like the I like the aspect. This is was this was small aspect, but the factory. If you go to the factory, uh -huh. you get to choose the cards first. And I thought like, oh whatever, you know. But when I look at all these cards, it's such a beneficial thing. But it should be said that the player that didn't go to the factory at all uh, did win. I can't say who it was, but uh, the winning player didn't go to the factory. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, overly just uh, amazing game. Yeah, uh, but I need to play it more to give it a rating. I'm not going to give it any yeah, rating. Right um, now. I just need to play it more. I felt that I was lost in the game. It took me quite some time to understand what should I do. I got stuck at some moment, but it's pure because of it's the first game, and and then I kind of got what should I do, but I was already stuck some 
somewhat in the corner, but it actually gave the feeling that, okay, I actually want to replay it now. Like, yeah. I don't mean really, literally like <laughs> 10, we're 30, so tired already. We, but yeah. I, like next week or, or any, anytime soon. Because like, yeah. to, because I got the feeling and I want to play the game now. Uh, but by the way, there's, it's a small thing for me. But normally I play red, I play only red. But in this game, I feel like I want to try every color. Yeah. I never, I never try any other colors because I don't care about any other color. I just play red, and I'm so used to red. But here, I think I'll be fine playing any color because I want to try every faction because they are so cool, special abilities they want to use. Like I already have some strategies in my head, a little bit less. You know. So yeah, overall, really good game and. The bottom actions are the best. <laughs> yes. <laughs> a lot of bottom actions. We just, I would say, the super duper bottom thing yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so feel the feeling. Feel, feel the bottom actions. Feel, feel the bottom actions. Yes. Thank you. And see, see you next time.